I just discovered this new feature in Google Merchant Center. Um, and it is the price competitiveness report. So if you're in your merchant center, uh, go to growth and there you'll see the new report, price uh, competitiveness. Um, if you open it up, you'll see um, a chart that looks very similar to other charts in, uh, in your merchant center account. Um, but this one is actually um, showing you the prices uh, for the products in your account compared to other merchants which are selling uh, very similar products. So you can see four different categories. Uh, we have above be benchmark price, at benchmark, below benchmark, and then no benchmark. Uh, you'll see that the majority of the items actually don't have uh, any benchmark. Um, so that means um, Google is still gathering data, um, or it, it could be that these are uh, unique products or something where Google doesn't necessarily have any, uh, any competitors to uh, compare them to. Um, so the way to, to, to use this report is, uh, first of all, it's just awareness. Um, if you are selling products and you are not entirely um, aware of what your competitors are doing, this report can, can help shed some light. Um, like here we have, um, for example, here we have 9% um, of our products are below the benchmark price. So that means that we are more competitive uh, or that we have a better price compared to our competitors. Um, so it makes sense that to, to use this in your advertising to actually uh, push this uh, a little bit harder. Um, yeah, and, and the same for the, the above benchmark. So you can see the majority actually of our items um, that have a benchmark are above it. Um, so then again, you can see like, okay, where where is this? Um, so maybe these are items where you need to um, dial back a bit on advertising, or actually maybe there, there's some room for you to, to get some sharper pricing and to develop these, these um, items more. Um, yeah, the third group at the, bench, the, at the benchmark, um, there actually it, it might be um, a different, um, different things that you can do to, to sell more of these items. Um, something that's, that's interesting, so, so by default, um, you, you, you'll see this report. You are able to drill down um, by um, a couple of different, in a couple of different ways. So you can do that by product by category, by brand, and by product type. So right now we are looking at um, the actual brand. If we scroll down, we can see here uh, an overview of, of all of our brands, um, all the different countries. And here you can see actually a, um, a quick graph per, um, per brand. So you can quickly see that it's, it are the same colors. Um, so these, um, so this overview actually uses the same color than we had in our, our benchmark before uh, or in our report uh, above in the graph. Um, and here you're actually able to see at a glance um, how you are uh, stacking up. Um, so you can see, for example, the green one is where you have competitive pricing and the yellow one is where you're actually, um, you're getting outpriced by your competitors. So here, for example, this one, we can see that uh, for most of the items are actually more expensive or the same price than our competitors. Um, so maybe uh, there's a lot of competition, probably there's a lot of competition on, the, on this brand uh, and it makes sense to, to dial it back a little bit. Um, so I, I would use this to, to get an overview of, of the products that you are selling. Uh, we can do the same if we go for example for category. So that's um, Google, um, product categories, the, the things they uh, configure. Um, and here you're actually able to see the same, um, the same breakdown, um, but you're actually, you can see it based on the category. So that gives you an overview. Um, here, for example, in that first category, we are uh, pretty competitive uh, or we are less competitive, for example, um, than that second one. Um, so it, it, it pays attention. So sometimes you, know, you have these assumptions, um, and, and they are correct, but sometimes also you have like a, a bit of a distorted idea of, of, of how well you're, you're actually uh, competing. Um, okay, so that, so the product type um, and category report are very similar. Let's drill down into the actual product report. Okay, so here we can actually see the different products. Um, you can also sort here uh, by clicks to find the products that are um, showing up most often. Um, and here, for example, this first one, um, you can see here um, the price, that's the, the price in, our price is in, um, 
in black. Um, the gray text is actually the benchmark price, so it's kind of an average of what Google found um, our, the other competitors have. Um, here we can see the current price difference, current benchmark price difference, so that's the difference between those two. And then we also have the historical benchmark price difference. Um, so this one is actually dependent on the um, date range that we pick here. So right now it's, it's uh, the last 14 days, uh, but if we were to, to do, uh, if we were to select, for example, last month, we could see that, okay, um, last month we had a 10% difference and now it's only a 5% difference or something. So here you can see in, in the last 14 days, we had a 5% uh, difference and currently it's only 1%. Um, so it could be uh, maybe we've increased our prices or maybe our competitors are actually catching up um, and doing some uh, repricing uh, themselves. Um, yeah, I, I think both of these are, are very interesting um, to look at, um, comparing how, you, how a certain category is evolving. For example, if you have a, um, a competitor, so these are individual products, we can do, uh, get those same benchmarks for the other categories. Um, so there, I think it's, it pays attention if you if you are um, if you're gonna do some efforts into reducing the, the price difference in certain categories, it pays to really um, have a look at the um, at the at the trend. Another thing, um, so that's one thing, like looking at uh, at trends, looking at the categories, um, evaluating how well your your pricing strategy um, is going, uh, and the other one is to really look at individual. Um, products, products that you know, like so, very often in, in a whole product catalog, even, even if uh, an advertiser has like a thousand products, there will be a couple in, do, in, in that catalog that are selling really well. So for those, you kind of want to pay a bit more special attention to see how, how your pricing goes. Uh, especially if you haven't done this before, um, I would suggest you, um, you look into this. So this is a new feature in Google Merchant Center, um, but um, this is a feature that has been offered by a service like I showed you here, uh, Pricing, uh, for a long time, uh, where you can actually um, see how well you are stacking up. So, so this is their, their demo account, um, and I'm gonna show you. So they, they do something very similar. Um, so for, they calculate the average, you can add specific brands or products or categories. Um, to it, and you can really compare um, prices uh, individually. So uh, they have a couple of different categories. You also see who is um, what's this one? Um, who is uh, out outselling you? Uh, so that's information we didn't have for the uh, in in the Google Merchant Center report. And here, for example, uh, for a product, um, okay, we know John Lewis or Argos is, is actually. Um, selling more or, or less than, than we are, or they are at the same uh, price uh, point. Um, it gives a bit more information. Um, so I think uh, this new tool, like in a, a lot of people, this, this comes with a price. I think this is like $60 a month. A lot of stores didn't want to pay for that, like to have a tool to just monitor the price. So I think those will be really helped by Google Merchant Center. Um, but the, the big difference here with this, with this tool is um, their dynamic pricing. You're, you're able to actually set up different rules. Um, so here, for example, we have a different, uh, we have a specific uh, product. Um, for here, for example, iPhone 7, rose gold. Um, our product cost is this one. Um, we see here, okay, uh, we are selling it for, um, Three, uh, we, we are actually, we are John Lewis, uh, we are selling it for 379. Um, and then we have here Laptops Direct, uh, they're selling it actually for 369. So we can see that we're, uh, we're more expensive. Um, now, that, that, that just goes more into detail. You could probably get um, that same, um, you could get the information that you're more expensive than the benchmark, but you wouldn't know um, who is, um, yeah beating you. Uh, but the main difference um, are these tools. Um, the main difference, okay, I can't use this. Um, but the main reason why I use these, this tool a lot uh, with some of my clients um, is that they have like pricing rules. So here you can actually, um, so here they suggest a, a smart price. So that's like kind of a, a, an automated way. But you could say, okay, um, I want to stay, um, 
my, my minimum minimum price is let's say 359 for, for this item, but I wanna be um, $1 or one pound cheaper than um, the competitor. So you can kind of give a range um, in which to, to reprice your, your products. Um, so if you have like a, pro a pricing strategy where you wanna go aggressive and you wanna be for certain items, you really wanna, wanna show up most and, and get most of the traffic, um, that's a way to do it. And it will actually reprice the, the items in your store um, to, to always be very, uh, very competitive. Um, so yeah, I, I think probably this is like a, a way, uh, like a, a bridge too far. I don't think Google is gonna venture into the um, product management or repricing um, arena anytime soon, but it just gives you a lot more information and it helps you uh, manage your campaigns better. So I suggest um, open up your, your campaigns, um, open up your Merchant Center account, um, have a look and, and, and let me know in the comments uh, what you find. Till next time.